Let's start with the Four Corners a little bit because that, it is an iconic thing that people remember from 40 years ago. <laughs> and that's unusual. I mean, not many people have a trademark like that. Tell me kind of how that started. Well, of course, it was the brainchild of Coach Smith, and it was something that we practiced on every day. It's just not something that Coach Smith thought of at the end of a game and told us to stall. We had rules and things you could do and you couldn't do. To me, what made the Four Corners work, Scott, was number one, you had to have five very good ball handlers on the court. Not only myself, you know, John Kuster could play the middle, as he did uh, his senior year in the ACC mm -hmm. tournament, Eastern Regional, he was MVP. I mean, he could run the middle, Walter Davis. But the fact that I was in the middle, I think that I got a lot of the credit for Four Corners, but you had to have five very good ball handlers and five very good free throw shooters that could hit free throws in some tough situations, you know, tied, won, so many seconds to play and stuff. And believe it or not, my job was to initially kind of act like we weren't going to score. If an opportunity came, we were going to, you know, get a back door, get a layup. We were looking to score. And then the other team would go down a lot of times out of frustration and take a quick bad shot. And it was very important for us to block out, get the rebound. We come down, do it again, and, you know, we get up seven or eight. And at that time, you know, that was pretty much the game. But I do think I get a lot of credit for four corners. But, you know, it had to have five very good players on the court to do a lot of good things for four corners to work.